This is Colleen with Science Zone, and we've got you covered for another daily dose of science. Today, it doesn't matter whether it's Earth Day, whether it's any other day of the year, we can all take part in helping to clean up our environment. In the 50 years since the very first Earth Day, it has always been about the power of citizens to shape the world that we live in. As a matter of fact, the very first Earth Day in 1970 has become known as the largest civic engagement activity in history, with over 20 million people involved. That civic engagement has led to many changes aimed at cleaning up our planet, and the mission of Earth Day has continued for the past 50 years. In keeping with that tradition, EarthDay.org is sponsoring Earth Challenge 2020. Although there are several different initiatives in this global challenge, one really important one that we can all become involved in is tracking plastic. We know that when plastic waste is not managed responsibly, the waste leaks into the environment and degrades. And as a result, small pieces of plastic called microplastics are in our water, food, and even the air we breathe. This is a global plastic pollution problem, and everyone's help is needed to measure the extent of it. So what can you do? EarthDay.org has made it incredibly easy to participate in the Earth Challenge 2020. On your phone, just get the app Earth Challenge 2020. You will be asked whether you want to participate in air quality measurements or plastic measurements. I tried the air quality one and it said there was no data for where I lived, so I'd recommend the plastic. But from there, it's so easy. You walk around your neighborhood or go to a park or any other public place. Take a picture anytime you see plastic waste. You will be given three options. You can leave it where it is, you can take it to recycle, or you can put it in the garbage. And this is just a reminder that if you do not have appropriate safety wear on, such as gloves, don't pick up the garbage. It's okay if you leave it there and just help monitor where you're finding plastic. Then the next question will be to confirm your location. If you have location services turned on on your phone, that is really easy. You just click mark here. Hit submit and that information goes into a global database. This is an activity that could easily become a challenge amongst family and friends because the app keeps track of your submissions and the actions that you've taken. The COVID-19 pandemic has done so much to separate us from each other, whether it's our neighbors or our global community. Citizen science is a way to work together as part of a community that is larger than ourselves. All of the information in this video came either from EarthDay.org or the Earth Challenge 2020 app. That's it from Colleen and the Science Zone. Just another reminder that we can do science together.